What's that? The technique is an interference. Yeah. You see that there is uh, any better experience? So what is, you know, you're asking me, so what, what is, so what do I mean by interference? Yeah. So basically what I mean by interference is simply, so suppose, so suppose you prepare your atoms in a dark, in a dark state, which is a superposition, properly based superposition of two in states. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm drawing? Yeah. So and basically, so and you, you know, still, do you still do now, you now, now, just sure. well, this actually this is useful because it contains the answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, but so basically, suppose that you have uh, you prepared an atom in superposition of the two states, right? and then uh, apply I apply two fields, right? So now. I have two absorption paths which terminate at the same state. And if I prepare my superposition with proper kind of weights and proper signs, proper phases, I could arrange the condition such this, that when I add this path plus this path, the result is exactly zero. So that's interference. It's not the electric field that interferes. No, it's an atomic probability, uh, atomic amplitudes which interfere. Huh. And it's actually, it's, uh, uh, it's a fairly generic uh, phenomenon. So there are many other examples, like for example, you have coupled oscillators, uh, they can sort of also interfere. So, but you know, you know in these cases, these are atomic, atomic amplitudes which interfere. It's related to the fact that we have a the minus in the superposition. Exactly, exactly. This phase is very important. Right. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, what, <clears throat> sorry, what limits the height of the in this situation? So it's a very good question uh, to be honest. We don't sort of know 100%, but you know, we believe that, so in our case, um, uh, there's a finite dephasing of this uh, coherence between the ground state and the Rydberg state. So, and this finite dephasing is, uh, for example, due to residual motion because atoms are not, you know, quite cold enough, are not confined. And actually, in these experiments also what's important is we turn off the trap while we're doing this, doing these measurements. And so these all contribute to finding dephasing <coughs> of this metastable uh, kind of Rydberg states. Uh, and <coughs> that's what causes finite loss. But of course, what you could also, you know, in, you know, in principle, you could possibly improve this transparency by making the control field stronger. Right. These are all things which you could do. Are there more, more general questions? If not, again, go and talk to Misha or talk to him over lunch this afternoon. Or you are leaving early tomorrow. Yeah. So today is your last chance to talk to him. And thank you again very much.